Part 1. Dear VR Spatial Connect and Nuendo 10 Binaural Workflow with Dear VR Pro. Hey, and welcome to our new tutorial series about main production workflows for Dear VR Spatial Connect and Nuendo 10. I will show you how to create immersive mixes for binaural, ambisonics, and even multi-channel loudspeaker output formats. In this first video, we're going to talk about binaural output. As a Spatializer plugin, we are using the advanced Dear VR Pro plugin, enabling you to choose between all three output formats, binaural, ambisonics, and multi-channel loudspeaker. Let's start. Please make sure that Dear VR Spatial Connect and Dear VR Pro are already installed on your computer. Before you start using Nuendo 10, we strongly recommend to update your e-licensor in order to bring the whole system to a stable state. To do that, just run the e-licensor software and perform a maintenance task. This will automatically update the e-licensor. Okay, let's go. After starting Nuendo, open the Studio drop-down menu. Indicating a successful installation, Spatial Connect should appear here. If it doesn't show up on your system, please check our tutorial video on how to install and set up Spatial Connect properly. For my setup, I can see that Nuendo is already connected to Spatial Connect. Now we're going to set up a binaural output configuration for Dear VR Pro. First, go ahead and create an audio track. It's very important that you specify a stereo configuration and a stereo output for the track. After adding the new track, select on the track and go to your effects channel, here, and add Dear VR Pro as an insert effect. As this is the first time opening Dear VR Pro, you will be prompted for your Plugin Alliance credentials. After logging in this time, the licensor will remember me in the future. As the default setting of Dear VR Pro, we directly get what we're looking for, the binaural output format. Perfect. One important thing to take care of is to please make sure that Dear VR Pro is always used as the last instance in this setup. Let's get a quick impression of the binaural output. For that, I'm just going to duplicate the rack two times to create three tracks with the same configuration. From my stems folder, I'm just going to import my tracks and the audio session to each track, the second and the third one. All right, now we have our configuration going. I'm just going to press play now. Okay, sounds great. That's it for binaural setup. 